Lastly, when we're trying to figure out volume for the week, not volume for an individual set, volume for the week, MRV and MEV are some of our most important things to look at. So MRV stands for maximal recoverable volume, and MEV stands for minimal effective volume. So really simply, when we talk about these, we're talking about the amount of real sets you do in a week, not the junk volume, not the half-assed lifts. We're talking about how many real, genuine, two failure sets are you doing in a week. So minimum effective volume is, if you go below minimum effective volume, you've gone below the minimum that's required to get muscle growth. And if you go above maximal recoverable volume, it means you have so many sets that you've gone beyond your body's ability to recover from that training. So if you go above MRV, less muscle growth, you've just overtrained. If you go below MEV, you're not stimulating enough, so you're not gonna cause growth. And what we really wanna land at is that perfect range in the middle of these two, which is MAV actually, which is maximal adaptive volume. And what that really looks like for most people is somewhere between 40 and 60 sets a week. 40 and 60 sets might sound like not that very much when you break it down, you're like, that's only you know 10 real sets a day, maybe nine real sets a day. But in reality, the truth is if you're taking those sets to an RPE of 10 with effective reps in that proper volume range with real mechanical tension, nine sets is more than enough to get really, really good growth. And anything more than that, you're probably overtraining. And this is something we see in the gym a lot. We call this junk volume. A lot of guys are in the gym filling their day with junk volume. They're, they're pump training. They're just doing a lot of reps that don't matter. And when you can start hitting this hypertrophic formula properly, you're gonna grow so much better and you're just gonna stimulate the tissue so much better.